to Violet's AP Month Update. Yes, a camera. Demo, 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 demo. I know I'm so late doing her 18 month update, but I wanted to take a little time out to do a little bit, um, <laughs> to uh, do a, a little update about Violet because so much has been happening with her and she's growing so Hasn't had her um, 18 month appointment yet. Her appointment is not until uh, the end of this month because you know her doctor's availability. So I try to be, you know, really. Um, I try to be really when it comes to her her doctor's availability. And so um, since her doctor asked me if I didn't mind pushing it, um, her appointment, I told her I didn't mind. Um, Violet turned 18 months on January the 27th, and from what I can see, she should be in the 30 pound range, or on her really, really best way of being in the 30 pound range. And so just a little bit about Violet right now, um, the last check that Violet had was on 11-23-15, and at that appointment she was 25 30 inches. Of course, by now she's a lot bigger than that. Um, Violet got four shots, and then she got a month later, she got the two shots in two separate shots. And so, um, so yeah, so we got that out of the way. She didn't have any reactions to the shots. I think she started to get used to getting shot because she never had, she may have like a slight fever, but then after a few days, it goes away. I give her some um, Tylenol and it just, it goes away. So she's been doing really good with the shots and everything. Um, uh, Violet, we have a very strict routine and that is just the way that I live life. I grew up very regimented, very structured, and I am raising Violet the exact same way with uh, with a few, you know, I'm not as strict as, you know, my parents were. And so, um, Violet has a bedtime. She goes to bed at exactly 8 p.m. And we're, I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of our bedtime routine um, later on in the vlog. I did film our bed, bedtime routine um, in case you were just curious, uh, you know, about what we do. And, um, but Violet sleeps through the night. Thank you, Jesus. You know, she may have, she, she's been having uh, night terrors. Um, she'll wake up just completely just like upset, screaming, or she'll be very upset in her sleep. I'll come, pick her up, love on her, rock her for about 10, 15 minutes, and then put her back down, and she will sleep the rest of the night. I don't know why that happens, but who knows. But she does recover really quickly from it, and she goes back down without any problem. Um, Viola does, you know, kind of just becoming a little bit of a picky eater. She does eat most of what I prepare for her. It all depends on the day and how hungry she is. She does eat her vegetables. The no problem is just the fruit. The fruit for Violet is like a hit. She's not into berries at all. She's going to talk. <laughs> She's not into berries at all. And so what I is I make sure that all of her yogurt is full of strawberries, blueberries, you know, raspberries, all the different berries that she will not eat by themselves. I make sure those berries are in her yogurt and that's how she gets them. Violet is not drinking whole milk like she's supposed to because after I took the bottle away, she just, she will not drink it. And so, you know, that's why she has such a big... A large intake of yogurt um, she has a full serving of yogurt every single day and I put milk in her eggs and so um, that keeps her from um, that you know gives her a little bit of the, the the vitamin D that she does need plus she eats two or three servings of fruits and veggies every day and even if she doesn't eat the entire fruit like for the most part she loves tangerines and grapes she'll suck the juice out of it and leave the skin which is completely fine as long as she gets something in 
you know, and as she gets older, I'm sure she'll, you know, she'll uh, be a lot better at eating, so I'm not really worried because she does eat for the most part. Um, Violet is really, really into temper tantrums. I mean, her temper tantrums are so horrible. And so right now, we are working on discipline. She does get, you know, a pop on the hand or a pop on the leg when she goes overboard. Because sometimes she'll get frustrated and she'll get mad and she'll try to hurt me. And that has nothing to do, it's just something that she, she just lets out her aggression on whoever is around. And I'll tolerate that because if I don't hit you, don't hit me. <laughs> And so, you know, she'll get popped if she's doing something dangerous or flinging herself and just to snap her out of it. And it works. You know, it may not work for your child. You may not have tried it with your child. But for my child, I have a very strong-willed. Talking is not going to work for Violet. Violet's very strong-willed. She will not listen to me if I speak to her in a regular stop you know, calming tone. She will not pay my behind no kind of attention. Um, for example, Violet likes to throw food on the floor and I mm. asked Violet several times, do not throw the food on the floor. We eat the food on our tray. And Violet will look me in all four of my eyes, take whatever food that she has in her hand, look at me and go like this. <laughs> Because she don't care, you know? And so, when I pop that ham, boop, don't throw food on the floor. Guess what happens? She stopped throwing food on the floor. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to, you know, defend, you know, popping or spanking or anything. You just do what you think is best for your child or what works for your child. Now, another disciplinary thing that we do with Violet is timeout. She completely hates timeout. Timeout is like the guaranteed way to get her attention and to get her to stop whatever bad behavior that she is exhibiting at the moment. And so her crib is the place where we do timeout because she's 18 months old and she's not going to sit in no chair in the corner. And so, and plus we don't even really have a corner for her to sit in because we live in a small place. And so um, when she is acting completely erratic and crazy and throwing herself you know, throwing her toys at me usually, you know, just being completely horrible. I will put her in her crib, and after a little bit, she will calm down. Mommy! You know, and then when she calms down... Mommy! Yes, lovey. When she calms down, then she can come out. I give her a hug, I give her a kiss, and I talk to her. We have a little chat, you know, because I don't want her to think that I am disciplining her out of dislike, hate, or being mean. You know what I'm saying? Because that didn't happen to me when I was I was just disciplined and nobody came to tell me. I just felt like them people hated my guts, you know. But with Violet, I wanted to try something different, even in discipline. After the smoke clears down and everything dies down, I will get down on her level, look her in her eyes, and I will talk to her and I'm like, we do not hit, we do not slap, we do not be mean to other people, you know, and, um, or we don't throw fits. And, you know, it's an everyday process because every day is, is pretty much different. And so every day I'm just being consistent. Some days are good and some days are completely terrible, you know. And it's just a process because I don't want her to be three and four, you know, and, you know, she doesn't have that foundational discipline intact. I mean, because once you get to a certain age, y'all know all your mama had to do was do like this. And you got right, because you already knew after that look, you was going to get it. So, <laughs> it's going to take some time for Violet because she's just not, uh, she's like, she's very strong-willed. So, we do have a uh, toddler learning time, and I have signed Violet up for ABC Mouse. And we're, right now, we're not doing any organized activities on ABC Mouse. We're just, uh, they have uh, the alphabet. And they have organized like three or four songs. I think it's three songs per letter. And we just sing the songs. We sing all of the, the songs, whatever letter it is. We go through the whole alphabet and we sing all the songs that correspond with that letter. And that's all we do on ABC Mouse. And so once she gets 
her alphabet down pat then we'll start with her numbers she has 10 fingers so i will teach her to count to 10 you know at first because that's like the easiest you know um thing to do because they have 10 fingers and it's just easy for them to count to 10 first and then we'll move on up and so slowly but surely you know we're we're introducing uh learning to violet as well um right now uh Viola is down to one nap she was taking two naps and so now Viola goes she gets up at um between 7 30 and 8 a.m and i will let her go all the way until noon sometimes she, i will press it till one and the child is so completely exhausted i have no problems i have no kind of fighting she lays down takes the cover and she's so so smart she knows how to uh put her a uh, blanket over her she she knows how to cover herself with her own blanket so i think that's really really cool <laughs> she knows how to cover her own stuff with her blanket and so she covers herself and she goes to sleep violet does not have a pillow in her crib because i don't really think she needs it and so she's not missing it she never had a pillow but she does love oh, yeah. her comforter and she will cover up with it I'm starting to call Violet my little shady shy town you know she's a little slickster she's very very slick eh, 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 slicky slick 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 right right slicky slick 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 Violet try to be so slick all the time because you know she she has a lot more sense she understands a lot more than you really think she does i remember one day i was feeding Viola her um her uh you can have this i said i gave Viola her lunch she had um macaroni and cheese macaroni and cheese and string beans and after about uh, 15 minutes, I came back to check on her to see how she was eating because I let her eat by herself so it's no distraction and I'm not bothering her. Um, her tray on her high chair was completely clean. So I was like, oh my gosh, good job, Violet. You ate all your food. When I got ready to take Violet out of her high chair, why all the string beans was up under her booty? All the string beans was tucked up under her butt. And I was just like... Now, how did you know to do that? I mean, I, I, even, I couldn't even be mad. I just had to laugh so loud because I'm just like, this girl is so, how did you learn to be sneaky? See, a lot of things are just innate, you know? You just, that's just human nature, you know? She was just like, I'm going to show her, honey. I'm going to hide these. And I took them right out, put it right back on the tray, and I fed the rest of them to her. Like, you going to eat them? Like, who cost money? Girl, what you think this is? Shoot, I ain't gotta like some people. Food ain't free for us, honey. We got to pay. <laughs> we got to pay for this food. But she did eat it, you know, once she realized she had no choice. But she did eat it. But she she tried to be slick because she knows that after she eats her food, I give her like a little treat. Like a uh animal crackers or something. So she tried to like get rid of it. I'm done, mommy snack. <laughs> so she already know, you know. So she try to be slick so she can get her snack early than when she's supposed to get it. But, um, yeah, so she's talking a lot more. The doctor recommended that we see a speech therapist. And so we have been going more, very good, more. We've been going, um, she's been, uh, our insurance is only covering nine sessions. And so, which is okay, because we're moving literally in three and a half weeks. We're moving. And so, we're going to just do as many, uh, no, 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 you don't touch that. We're going to do as many um, sessions as we can, you know, before the big move to the, oh, I'm so excited. And so, uh, the teacher has been teaching her sign language. And so she's been signing more, 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 more. Very good. You want to show everybody how you sign more? You want to show everybody more, more, more. Very good. Smiley, baby. You look smiley, baby. You look smiley, baby. You look smiley, baby. And so, and <laughs> she's so smart. Cause I don't even think. Cause I was like, this 
stop. I was like, holding no sign language. And she did it. She came to me. She was like, more, more. And I was like, yay, my love, more. Yeah, because she hollers and screams for everything. When she wants something, ah, ah, ah. So I was like, can you, is there something that you can do, you know, to keep her, to have her become vocal or at least tell me what she wants and so she's working with her with the sign language and Violet's doing so well with it and so um yeah um that's pretty much it for Miss Violet honey she's a size six diapers because her booty is just like out of control like she has like the biggest donk donk big old butt you know she has a small waist and a huge butt and so trying to find a camper that covers that entire booty is like crazy. I thought a few weeks ago I was on the hunt online for size 7 diapers because I don't really think that she's going to last until she's 2 in size 6. You know, but I don't know. Violet's starting to like thin out and her waist is starting to get a lot smaller and she's starting to get like really, really like, like she's starting to lose her belly. Like all that chubbiness is starting to go away because she runs literally all day. And so, um, that's good, but I'm really, really hoping that, you know, you know, if she does grow, we'll just have to move up to size 7, and then that'll just, you know, increase the time for us to start potty training, so, but, you know, we're not even in that realm of potty training land yet, because I need Violet to be vocal. She's vocal, but she's not vocal in telling me what is going on with her or you know how to communicate with me like dialogue wise and so once she can dialogue with me and can say and once I can teach her to say pee pee poo poo and you know show her and I'm waiting until we move you know to even start practicing on introducing that you know because it's like no space to even do that around here right now and so you know once she gets closer to two you know, probably around uh, the end of May and the beginning of June, I will start to introduce the potty seat to her. And I will document that process like I do most things. And so when I remember. And so anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for my 18 month update. I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Tell everybody bye. Say bye, everybody. See you say bye. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, bye y'all. Hi guys. Say hi. Say hi everybody. Yeah, we're doing our um nighttime routine. Um we usually start file go to bed at 8 p.m. and so we pretty much start her routine at a little after 7. We give her a nice warm bath and as you can see, you know, she's getting an old school bath in the sink because she's too little for the tub and so we give her a nice warm bath in the sink and then she gets her baby massage with coconut oil and we read a book and she goes down and so, yeah, this is what we do. You feel okay? All right, so I'll show you guys in the next clip how we do our baby massage and how we do all the rest of our night time. So stay tuned. All right, bye. Hi guys. Now once we finish with the warm bath, see Violet saying hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Violet's at the age where she's not really into laying down, uh, laying down still, so that I can do her baby massage and so to cut down yeah she don't talk <laughs> to cut down on the temper tantrum and screams I just let her stand up and I massage her from head to toe she gonna talk y'all you tell him tell him say yeah that's right you see daddy say hi daddy <laughs> Yeah, Violet's severely allergic to the Johnson & Johnson uh, baby lotion. The last time I put it on her, she broke out in really some nasty bumps. And so now, 
we only use coconut oil. And I'll show you guys the coconut oil that we use. This is the Lou Anna coconut oil. And you can buy this at in your the baking section at any grocery store. It's like six bucks, almost seven bucks for this huge tub. And this lasts about almost eight or nine months. And so I lather her skin. And Violet has severe eczema. And so she'll have breakouts every now and then. And she'll get, you know, break out in little bumps and stuff. And so the doctor recommended that I um, lather her skin every day with the coconut oil. And it seems to keep her skin nice and moist, nice and moisturized, and just completely supple. There are no black spots. There are no types of sores or anything from any of her breakouts when she does break out. And so, yeah, you pretty much look like a little turkey. Right, boo? <laughs> All right. So next week, I'll show you guys the rest of our bedtime routine. All right, see y'all. Bye-bye.